What's up, everyone? I hope you uh, I hope you all are being safe out here in this strange time. Um, I don't have much work here, but I do have a 2008 Scion XP today. Complaint is no power, especially when going uphill. So, have this hill at my work. This thing is steep. So I'm going to pull this hill. I'm going to be looking at some data list with you all. Have my scan tool hooked up and take you along for this diagnosis. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going up full throttle, 11 miles per hour up the hill at about 2,000 RPM. That's all, all this thing has. So I'm pretty sure the customer wasn't lying when they said they had no power. A bumpy ride. All right, so we'll go back. I'm gonna go look at, oh. I'm gonna go back, look at this data that I saved. The big thing I wanna see is if this thing was running rich. I wanna make sure that, I wanna make sure that my fuel pump's good. This thing was running rich. So as, let's pull up throttle. So we have our lambda sensor up and our throttle sensor up, our throttle position sensor up. The big thing I wanna make sure of is that my fuel pump is good. So when I go full throttle up this hill, uh, my lambda sensor drops full, full rich, which is telling me, uh, number one, that our fuel pump is good. Our fuel pump is good. We would be running lean if our fuel, fuel pump was bad. Um, it also tells us that most likely this cat is bad. Clog cats, uh, usually cause rich conditions. It's kind of an EGR effect where you have inert gas stuck in the combustion chamber causing a, a rich condition. So I'm going to take this back down below, back into the shop, and uh, we'll see We'll see if this cat's clogged. So I can do a back pressure test with just a back pressure gauge, pull out the air fuel sensor, put the gauge in place, see what the back pressure is. But number one, where I'm from, Oxygen sensors don't like to easily come out. And number two, holding true to my channel, I'm gonna use a scope. <laughs> so uh, get that set up for you guys and, and I'll show you how I do this. So I'm going to be using the uh, WPS. I got this set up to range one. Uh, just going to put it in cylinder two. We'll get away from it. All right, so we're going to pull up our PicoScope software. We're going to change our probe to WPS range one. Oh crap. I'm going to put this on a 200 PSI scale. I'm also going to change the voltage, uh, the time division. We'll do one second.
come back out here. We'll pause this. All right, let's see if I can get you guys to see this. So I'm gonna zoom in at idle. And at idle, I had, we'll say, Say I had right around one PSI of back pressure at idle, but what I want to see is how much I had when I held it at about 2,500 RPM. So if we go back out go to the next screen, all right, zoom in. Now I'm going to bring up these rollers for you all so you can see where the in intake and exhaust events happen. So. Uh, it's hard to get it. It's hard to get this lined up with a touch screen. Let's try this. Right. We'll bring up our four rollers. All right. So right around here. This here's our power stroke where my mouse is. This is my exhaust stroke, intake stroke, and compression stroke. Now, where my exhaust stroke is taking place, I am pushing about 17, maybe more, about 18 PSI back pressure. So it's obviously not good to have that much back pressure. So the easiest way for me to determine if uh, it is the exhaust, the downstream exhaust that's clogged, or the cap that's clogged, is to just take off this downpipe. So. Luckily, this guy just had a new exhaust put on it, so not hard to do. All right, well, we're gonna try it again. Nope. <laughs> no better. <laughs> Well, this one, this one clearly needs a catalytic converter. I hope you all um, enjoyed this one and were able to see how you can use a pressure transducer to check back pressure. Um, I was able, off camera, I also checked valve timing, make sure my exhaust valve was opening at the right time, and it was. So I hope you all enjoyed this one. Um, I, I do hope you all are staying safe. I know this here is a, a pretty difficult time. It's a difficult time for me. It's rough. This is, this is rough. Being an essential worker with no work as a flat rate technician is pretty miserable here. I had 20.1 uh, 20 yeah, 20 hours last week, so I don't know how many videos I'm going to make over the next month or two, so I took the opportunity to get this one. So I hope you all enjoyed it. hope you all are staying safe, and I hope you all are uh, at least making a buck or two. So I guess I'll see you all next time.